I always wanted my own AI, something like Jarvis, just to automate things in my life and make me more productive. And recently I actually came onto something special, Vectorshift. So let me tell you all about it and show how it can help you in your business. Vectorshift is a no code generative AI platform that allows companies and individuals to build and deploy chatbots, search engines, AI assistants, and workflow automations in minutes. Thanks to Vectorshift's no code interface, it doesn't require any code and knowledge and for presents a really intuitive way to make your business run on full steam. The core idea behind the interface of Vectorshift is pipelines and nodes. Pipelines are chains of logic that can be used to automate workflows. Typically creating a chatbot requires a lot of in-depth code and knowledge, experience with various APIs and so on. But here, all you have to do is just drag and drop a few blocks and connect them to form a pipeline. Most AI workflows are composed of the same building blocks and Vectorshift provides those building blocks without needing to code. But let me just show you how it all works. There are two ways to create your pipeline. Do it from scratch or modify one from the marketplace or template library. Let's say we want to create a chatbot from scratch that will answer our queries based on the company's internal documentation. Sounds like a typical thing any company might need. By default, everyone sees just an empty interface builder and above it, there are a few sections each with specific built-in blocks. There are the input and output blocks, text blocks, blocks, node blocks, and a whole array of large language models you can connect, OpenAI, Llama, Anthropic, Mistral, and many more. Okay, we're gonna start by adding input and output blocks. This is how each pipeline should start. When a pipeline is run, the data from the input blocks are passed to the connecting blocks. The information in the output blocks will be displayed to the user. Next up, we're gonna drag and drop a knowledge base reader block two of them actually. This knowledge base reader basically allows you to connect your own data for AI to work with, and it will be its only source of knowledge. Queries to knowledge base will return the most similar pieces of information across your entire data set. This way you can be sure that the AI workflow will always be leveraging your data. The knowledge base can be filled with data from files, URLs, YouTube links, and so on. You can even integrate your Google Docs, OneDrive, Airtable, Sheets, Slack, Notion, Dropbox, and a ton of other platforms. In addition, the knowledge base will keep all the data live synced. So if you make changes to a document, your workflow will always be leveraging the most up-to-date data. The knowledge base is like a central brain for an organization. There is no need to modify your existing workflow and you can just build on top of it. After adding the knowledge base readers, we need to add a language model, which in our case is OpenAI GPT 3.5 Turbo. And that's where the real fun comes in. There are three parameters for customization. In the input field named system, we just need to paste our prompt. This can be a detailed explanation for the AI of what it should do, how to behave, how to respond, and so on. The prompt field is needed to actually connect the data. It basically specifies which data gets sent in each message. And once that's done, the only thing left to do is choose the version of GPT. After that comes the fairly easy step of connecting everything together and Voila, it's done. This is all you do. No coding, no sophisticated prompting, no fighting with APIs and access to data. Vectorshift does it all for you. Once the pipeline is complete, I can just run it. Ask questions and see the answers in real time, all based on the internal knowledge base. Once I'm satisfied, I just have to deploy it and there are two main ways to go from here. Deploy it as a chatbot or as a search engine. There's a special code for a website that can be embedded enabling a convenient chat right on the website, or we can just access it by its own separate link, basically getting a personalized search engine just for us. But my personal favorite way to deploy is in the form of a chatbot. This is a bit more convenient than searching for me, has a history for previous chats, and is overall very familiar to people. I think for a company, having a chatbot is even better than having just a search. What do you think? And as I already said earlier, you don't have to create a pipeline from scratch. There are many options in the market marketplace to choose from, image generation, chatting with a website, article generators, lead collection, chatbots, and so on. If you find the one you like, you can just copy it and add it to your liking. 
For example, I can take a pipeline that lets me search for the information on the web page that doesn't have an input window for the URL. This pipeline is built for a static URL, but I can easily change that. I just add another input field connected to the URL loader and it just works. I just love how simple it all is. And such pipelines are just the tip of the iceberg. Vector shift can also help you with automations. For example, you can create a pipeline that writes a draft email for every new email in your inbox while also leveraging your internal knowledge base. You just need to deploy the pipeline as an automation, pick and customize a trigger, like receiving an email from a certain someone, and then map the pipeline data that you created for the pipeline itself. And that's it. For vector shift, you can trigger AI workflows to run a new type for messages, new Slack messages at specific time intervals and much more. I'm telling you, this is by far the easiest way to streamline your business and take it to the next level. Chatbots for website visitors, email automation for business inquiries, integrations of calendars, Slack, internal databases, all this can now be done in minutes with no need to hire a team of developers. For developers, VectorShift also has an interoperable Python SDK and also an evaluation suite to compare models, prompts, and AI architectures. I am definitely going to hold on to VectorShift and try even more things with it. And if you want to supercharge your business, I will leave a link in the comments. Thank you, VectorShift, for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon.